Girl, so last time I talked about how well Lanma did in mainland China, and since now it's being released in the US, all people are talking about in Thailand is the score on the tomato meter by Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, 100% by the critics. This is just so hard to like even imagine and wrap your head around. You imagine like these critics who are so hard on like big tent poles or franchises or you know big popcorn movies and then them showing interest and actually going to watch a movie that is you know in a smaller scale and from a country like Thailand this is just so amazing so apparently the studio who is responsible for bringing Lan Ma to the American market is a studio called well go USA which apparently they're no Known for buying Asian movies to be shown in the American market already. This movie is shown in only 56 theaters across America in states such as California, New York, Illinois, and Washington. And by the end of the week, it grows 115,457 US dollars, or that's approximately 3.8 million baht. Now, if we're gonna count calculate how much money each theater made for this movie it's approximately 2000 US dollars or 66000 baht and approximation of how many people went to see Lanma is around 180 to 200 people in theaters i think that is a lot that is pretty impressive i'm so curious about the demography of people going into the theaters in the US i mean were there more Asians or were there more young people than the older generation watching this movie? Because apparently in Thailand, there is a good mix because I think at the end of it, at the heart of it, this movie appeals to family, right? Everybody from like different levels of generation can relate. There is a universalness about it. And it's not about, yes, yes, we can't deny that. Yes, this movie will attract um, Bilkin PP fandom to watch. Yeah, not gonna lie about that. But there is, you know, a bigger picture. I think at this point we could all see say that this movie is bigger than that it just speaks volumes about life in general